Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me Old Channel, back with your favorite kind of video, so life is strange one. Now, I feel like I discussed already what I'm about to say here and there, but it just feels like, especially after before the storm, it really calls for a video of its own to sort of sum it all up. And what I want to discuss today is Frank and Rachel's relationship. Now, don't worry, because I know that some of you have been worried about this. I'm not becoming some sort of Frank Rachel shipper if those even exist. Do you exist? Show yourself. Um, I just, I've been thinking about it. I've been looking at the evidence, if you will. And I really, I feel like my mind's made up about what actually happened between them. I am aware that perhaps it's a wishful thinking on my part. I'm really trying to be objective here, so bear with me. So I guess most of us cringed where we saw Frank giving Rachel that look on the junkyard. You know that, oh, who's this girl? kind of a look and then opinions were divided on what was Rachel's look actually saying to me it just feels like she was intimidated I mean mostly girls do not like that kind of a look mm. unless they do I don't really want to repeat myself too much but these three things need to be mentioned so things that were already provided uh, based on life is strange that is Frank and Rachel's photo two letters that Rachel wrote to Frank and Rachel dancing in bikini in Frank's RV. So unless we actually ask Rachel, which we know that we cannot really ask her because she's dead, then we wouldn't really know what it meant and if what's Frank saying actually true. If you have a look at the Frank and Rachel's photo, it could be any kind of a photo really. Like it doesn't necessarily mean that they're hooking up. Let's assume that Frank's into Rachel and she's like hanging out with him. That's the kind of a photo that they could possibly take. You know, one of those friend zone photos, like me and my best friend sort of a deal if that ended up on Facebook. That photo of its own doesn't really say a lot. But if you look at the letter, so the first one, which I believe was the first one actually in the timeline thinking wise. Frankie B, I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night, I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompidou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. I'm thinking this weird shit that she's mentioning, that's probably Mr. Jefferson. I don't know what else could it be. Because drugs, like, he knows about drugs, so, I mean, what, what else? It would be very cool if they ended up sort of turning this about her having supernatural powers in, um, in a sequel. Prequel, sequel? Thank God for you. You're one of the best things. I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Now I wouldn't put too much meaning into this love uh, word here and the little heart. Rachel Amber obviously. It just seems like if someone's the type of girl that's into parties and into drugs and the, the word get tossed e easily like you just say it you know you say it to your best friend you say it to some guys that you really want to keep your tabs on i don't i don't really know but it doesn't sound serious it seems like they probably planned on leaving together but it also we also know that you know rachel planned on leaving with pretty much everyone in arcadia bay you know she would just take arcadia bay with with her and go another letter frank that was not cool what you did and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, which we know that she's not, but okay. And we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. So we find out pretty much two things about this. They have a routine, well, three things. She's lying about her zodiac sign and that she doesn't look back. I mean, this could also be about Chloe easily. Like, if, if somehow her and Chloe drifted apart, then Rachel is really the type of person that wouldn't look back. But let's focus on Frank, because I don't want to head into the Amber Prize uh, kind of a video. I would just ramble on. 
And then of course the last photo, so bikini photo. Again, I wouldn't really put much meaning into this. I said it before, I said it even without knowing what I know now. Now this is the part where I look like I'm sort of lying to myself, but no, I'm, I still strongly believe that when someone's into drugs and, you know, hanging out with someone and they easily lose it, because people on drugs, you know, do weirdest shit. This is something that could easily happen while on drugs. Now, why I think I know what actually happened there? That's because Nathan said so. I mentioned this in one of my videos and it just seems like it's pretty appropriate. Now, Nathan mentioned two things. He mentioned that Rachel was with Frank, hanging out with Frank or with Frank for the drugs, actually, and she was using him. And he also said that Frank did some sort of weird blood oath, which I don't know what it is because it was only mentioned this one time and it was never mentioned anywhere else. What would be this blood oath? I have no idea. I mean, it would fit nicely if it was about killing the daemon, but we know that it's not the deal since this was mentioned in Life is Strange when Damon didn't actually exist in Life is Strange universe. But here's what Nathan said. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. So we find out two things from this, this short video. First one is that Rachel supposedly thought that Frank was a loser. And the second one is that she let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Now, obviously Nathan Prescott is probably not the mo most believable person there is. Maybe he had a crush on Rachel like of his own, so he would say stuff like this because he felt jealous or threatened. To me, it does seem like there's some truth in it. Like, it's what I thought happened anyway. Rachel was lo losing it, like she was looking for someone to have an easy time with. I think she was quite ashamed to show her side, this side of her, to Chloe, the drug addict side. And it makes even more sense because we all know that Chloe was there when Rachel met her mother and found out that she was a drug addict. Knowing this, you'd always feel this kind of a burden on you, on your shoulders, like, I know there's genetics, but what if I end up like this? What if I end up like my mother? And when she realized that she is in fact ending up like this, that she's following down the same road, with Chloe, the one person that she felt like she was herself with, it was too scary and embarrassing to reveal this side of her to Chloe. I feel like people who end up in addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction or other sort of anything really that's bad for us, push away people that are closest to us. So it makes perfect sense that she ended up with Frank or even with Mr. Jefferson, which is not something that I want to get into because I don't, I don't know. But another thing is interesting here, what Nathan said. He carries around her photo like she posed for love. It feels like Frank thought that this relationship was something other than it actually was. For Rachel, it seemed like she was looking for an easy time, for a friend in the time of need, but the kind of friend that would do drugs. And that's not Chloe. I mean, weed, sure, but she wouldn't go down the, you know, hard drugs sort of a path. But I'm thinking, if you asked both Rachel and Frank what was the kind of the relationship, what relationship did they actually have, I doubt Rachel would say that it was a romantic kind of involvement, and I think Frank would definitely say so. When I was thinking about it, I realized that I know so many people who sometimes exaggerate the relationships that they never actually had, but it's like they claim that they had it because they, they are trying to make themselves feel better like they like the other person cared. So I actually know a guy who once told me, oh, I was dating this girl and this, this girl, she said that they were just hanging out from time to time and nothing ever happened. So you don't really know what's happening there between two people. It's often like there's a thin line between stating that you're dating and that you're not dating sometimes. Coming back to this, I feel like this is what happened. But as I said, that's just Nathan. 
I remembered that there was this scene with Max telling Frank that Rachel is dead. It's a heartbreaking scene, really. Have a look. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, just not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. So first thing he says, that he expected her to leave him. He never said that he expected her to leave. He said that he expected her to leave him. Which means that he believed that they were in a relationship. Kind of a relationship where you have to break up to leave. That's what he thought about this relationship. But then again, he continues on about not stopping her from going after her dream. So it seems like he is, after all, talking about her actually leaving the city, not leaving him. But then the other thing that he said, what he said about Chloe, that he always felt threatened about how Rachel dug Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were close. I was jealous, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. So it seems like even after everything that happened between the three of them, whatever it was, he still acknowledged the fact that Chloe existed in Rachel's life. Which really made me finally believe that it, was, it wasn't really that serious with Frank. I, I don't think we're talking about the Rachel that we know, honestly. I don't think we're talking about Rachel from before the storm. I think we're talking about a totally different person. You know, when you look at all these photos, it doesn't even look like Rachel. Obviously, Rachel never existed in the form of before the storm form, but it feels like it's a totally different person. Considering how dragged she probably was at the time, I don't think it was the Rachel that we know. And I don't think I'm being in denial about this. I honestly think that she pushed away Chloe because she cared about her, not the other way around. But obviously there is a possibility that they drifted apart. But then again, I mean, if they did, there's nothing to say really. That happens. First, love is not always the one that lasts forever. Honestly, it often doesn't last. But in this case, I still believe that she cared for Chloe because of what Frank said. And just to make it clear, I want to say that I believe Frank is a nice guy and I honestly feel, feel sorry for him, feel sorry about what happened. I do believe that he thought that Rachel was special and that still calls for at least giving him some sort of credit, but I'm not going to ship Frank and Rachel. So let me know what you think, do you agree with me? Do you think there's a way that Rachel actually fell for Frank, like fell in love with him? And maybe you have some ideas about Mr. Jefferson, I mean other than the obvious one, so he promised her the ticket out of Arcadia Bay. So if you enjoyed that video, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. There are links to my social media in the description. Thank you for watching. This was Ola from Stop Me Our Channel. <laughs>